Getting to know the growth prospects of the global economy can help us perceive opportunities for our own businesses. Global growth continues in a smooth downward path, led by the weakness of the industrial sector and exports in a context of high uncertainty on trade tensions. Domestic demand remains broadly resilient across regions, but it is growing at a more moderate pace. But the world is behaving differently in each region. Growth in East Asia and the Pacific is slowing down, largely reflecting a deceleration in China. The risks to economic growth in China are clearly tilted to the downside. The heightening of the trade war with the United States may lead to a downward growth revision. The damage would not only be through the tariffs channel, but also through other indirect channels, such as financial market confidence, the relocation of certain segments of global production chains, and the effects on productivity. Weakness of the economic indicators could denote that the effects of the counter-cyclical economic policy measures taken by the Chinese authorities are petering out, and that they might prove less effective than expected. The multinational company JLL is the VRG member in China. Japan's economy is set to grow by 0.9%. The strong first quarter GDP release reflects inventory accumulation and a large contribution from net exports due to the sharp fall in imports. Growth is projected to decline to 0.4% in 2020, with fiscal measures expected to somewhat mitigate the volatility. Tanizawa Sogo Appraisal, VRG member in Japan, is one of the three major real estate appraisal firms in the country. India has emerged as one of the fastest growing major economies in the world and is expected to be one of the top three economic powers of the world over the next 10 to 15 years, backed by its strong democracy and partnerships. RBSA Advisors, VRG member in India, is a leading international valuation, investment banking, restructuring and advisory firm. The growth of the economy of North American countries has been enhanced, among other reasons, thanks to their commercial agreements in place. U.S. activity should gradually lose momentum towards its potential growth rate supported by a more dovish Fed easing cycle of up to 75 basis point cut with GDP growth forecasts at 2% in 2019. Valuation Research Corporation, VRC, that operates in the United States, is a full-service, independent, global valuation firm that focuses exclusively on valuations that offer judgment beyond modeling. Founder and driver of the VRG network. Canada's growth is projected to decline to 1.5% in 2019. A slowing global economy and low oil prices have dampened exports and business investment, while private consumption and residential investment have decelerated in line with the slowdown in the housing market, rising interest rates and slower real income growth. Peter Ott & Associates, VRG member in Canada, is a valuation firm that specializes in the valuation analysis of business enterprises, intangible assets and valuation for financial reporting purposes. The first indicators of economic activity in 2019 show signs of deceleration, despite industry growing at an annualized monthly rate of 8.7%, driven by the construction sector, and services at 4.4% as a result of the better performance of financial and professional services. Inflation started well in 2019. The cumulative increase of 0.1 percentage points in January-February is the lowest since 2015, a year in which inflation was at an all-time low. In terms of monetary policy, we anticipate caution in the short term and the beginning of a cycle of reductions in the second half of the year. Grupo NASA, VRG member in Mexico, joins experience in valuation and consulting of fixed and intangible assets for various accounting, financial and tax purposes for business support. In contrast to global trends, trade in LATAM regions continues to expand. Goods export volumes have grown steadily since early 2018, recently overtaking import growth. 
The imposition of bilateral tariffs by the USA and China has benefited some Latin American countries, such as Brazil or Mexico. Brazil's economic recovery after the 2015-2016 recession remains sluggish. Public debt is high by international standards and is increasing, exposing Brazil to debt sustainability risks. Setape is the VRG member in Brazil. Their areas of expertise include asset appraisal, business valuations and financial planning. Supported by very strong policy frameworks and well-executed policies, Colombia's recovery has strengthened. Rebounding investment, continued policy support and substantial migration from Venezuela are expected to lift growth to 3.6%, while the current account deficit is expected to remain wide. Inflation is projected to remain close to target. The economic context in Argentina remains volatile. After a 2.5% GDP fall in 2018, a contraction of 1.3% is expected for 2019. With an annual inflation of over 50%, the highest level since 1991, the Argentine peso regained volatility and depreciated more than 13% during 2019. Biasca y Asociados, with a 38-year history, is the VRG member in Argentina, with wide international experience and knowledge of the Latin American culture. Some economies, such as Australia and New Zealand, have already cut rates in 2019. The fall in housing prices in two of Australia's largest markets, Sydney and Melbourne, had become contagious, leading to a fall in new building construction and weakening housing sentiment elsewhere in the country. Economic growth in Australia is expected to moderate in the near term, but remains close to trend. Leadenhall, the VRG member in Australia, is an independent corporate advisor established over 30 years ago with offices in Sydney, Melbourne and Adelaide. Euro area economic activity has continued showing signs of weakness, especially in industry, the sector most closely linked to global trade. We perceive very low levels of inflation despite the strength of domestic demand and the labour market and ECB monetary policy expected to be accommodative. After several years of real GDP growth averaging over 2% annually, Germany's economy slowed down sharply in the second half of 2018. This reflected a mixture of weak external demand and special circumstances affecting the automotive and chemical industries. Solid investment in construction and equipment is projected to gradually bring output back to trend by the end of this year, resulting in 0.7% growth in 2019 and 1.7% in 2020. There have also been widespread falls in sovereign debt yields down to all-time lows in Germany. Value Trust, the VRG member in Germany, provides expert-based business valuation and financial advisory in transactions, restructuring and reorganization, dispute and arbitration, as well as strategic value and portfolio management. UK economic growth is expected to remain modest at 1.4% in 2019 and 1.3% 1 in 2020. Risks are weighted to the downside due to the possibility of a harder Brexit. Consumer price inflation is projected to remain close to the Bank of England's 2% target, with interest rates expected to remain on hold for at least the rest of 2019. Valuation Consulting LLP, the VRG member in the UK, is a leading provider of business valuation and intangible asset valuation services in the UK. The Spanish economy has remained robust. After growing at a rate of 2.4% in 2018, GDP is expected to expand by 2% in 2019. Unemployment dropped down to 13.6% from a maximum of 26.3% in 2013. 2.5 million jobs have been created since 2014, equivalent to over 25% of the total employment generated in the Euro area. Gesvalt, that operates in Spain, Portugal and Colombia, is an independent company specializing in valuation, real estate advisory, corporate advisory and building consultancy with more than 20 years of experience. 
we live in a world in constant change. This causes companies to have to face important challenges. Blockchain, advanced robotics and the Internet of Things are going to drive economies over the next decade. The World Economic Forum estimates that, taken together, the cumulative value of digital transformation stands at almost $13 trillion. Scaling this up across all industries, the value of digital transformation to the global economy could reach more. As financial supervisors and central banks have been persistently warning in recent years, the climate change effects on the real economy pose serious threats on the stability of the global financial system. Global primary energy demand plateaus after 2035, despite strong population expansion and economic growth. After more than a century of rapid growth, global energy demand shows growth slowing and plateauing around 2030, primarily driven by the penetration of renewable energy sources into the energy mix. The price of a barrel of Brent has risen markedly to date this year. Gold continues in a positive trend. Electric mobility continues to grow rapidly. In 2018, the global electric car fleet exceeded 5.1 million, up 2 million from the previous year and almost doubling the number of new electric car registrations. The world has plenty of opportunities. Is VRG ready to grasp the challenge? We will be prepared if we face these challenges together. Because, as Alfredo Di Stefano said, none of us is as good as all of us.